Dr. Hudson did. Well, let's just talk about it. No, I've only no, I've only done not. three days of teaching, and you're charging me with 18 days. We can walk down and talk to Dr. Hudson. Okay, let's go. So I only did three days of teaching. University, you have reached our speech-enabled auto attendant. At any time during this greeting, you may say your party's name or extension number, or you may manually dial your party's extension. If this is an emergency, please dial three or say campus safety. To Sorry, please tell me the full name of the person or option again. I didn't say nothing. Bursar. Sorry, I still didn't understand. Please say the full name of the person you'd like to contact. Transferring your call. Walden University. Yeah, um, who am I speaking with? The operator. Walden University. Yeah, um, who am I speaking with? The operator. Walden University. Yeah, um, who am I speaking with? The operator. Stupid cunt bitches are right. I listen to whatever the cunt bitches say because cunt bitches know what's going on. Yep, that's exactly right. So let's get out of here. I mean, I gotta take a shit. Golly. Can't wait to take a little, little dump a do. Little dump a do. The reason why the 1855 Know Nothing Riots are significant is because the Germans and the Irish Catholics had moved to Louisville in Butchertown and in the West End. So Portland, you had Irish in Portland. And uh, the white people didn't like that. The white Anglo-Saxon Protestants, the original white people who were here in this country, you know, since Plymouth Rock. And, um, so these fucking crackers are so racist, they even ate their own kind, you know. Germans and Irish are clearly white today, but these white Anglo-Saxon Protestants, they're out of their fucking minds. Especially Julie Chancer in, uh, Valley High School. <laughs> She's a psycho. Sorry, please tell me the full name of the person or option again. I didn't say nothing. Bursar. Sorry, I still didn't understand. Please say the full name of the person you'd like to contact. Transferring your call. Walden University. Yeah, um, who am I speaking with? The operator. No, your name. What is your name? I want to know who I'm talking to because y'all keep on lying to me and uh, I need uh, uh, people who's going to be accountable to their words. Hello. Hello. Can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. Back home, down the down south. Uh, and she left all the money still there, <laughs> like in in the our, in our accounts. Oh, all I of our money so. still. <laughs> <laughs>
Who's that singing to? Uh, just like the fucking molester oppressors that they are. You got Richard G. Hudson sitting there fucking sending me fucking emails. I, I don't go to Spalding University anymore. and But that doesn't stop him fucking spamming the shit out of me. Richard G. Hudson covers up uh, sexual harassers. That's what Richard Hudson does. That's what Spalding University is all about. They cover up fucking uh, sexual harassment. They want to make you a compliant, obedient bitch up to the point where they're fucking molesting you. Richard G. Hudson, Richard G. Hudson, Richard G. Hudson, uh, Richard G. Hudson, Richard G. Hudson. Julie Chancellor, and I'm a total bitch. I'm the biggest bitch on the fucking planet. I am such a bitch. I want all my fucking kids better shut the fuck up, sit the fuck down, listen to what the fuck I say. I'm the smartest motherfucker on the planet. The black folks and the Native Americans, they fought for George Washington. And you want to say it there and say they didn't? Yes, they did. They did. No, they didn't, Julie. Black folks and Native Americans did not fight for George Washington. They fought for the British. Most black folks and most Native Americans fought for the British. I don't care. I don't care about knowledge or history. I make up facts. I make up facts because that's how I, that's how I roll, okay? I don't give a shit about All I care about is power. I want them. I took classroom management classes. These stupid ass kids have to be my fucking slaves. I talk to them like they're shit. I talk to them like they're stupid fucking dogs. Yeah, they, they fall asleep in the middle of my lectures. I yell at them and I say, I'm going to send you to ISAP. I'm going to send you to ISAP and I'm going to fucking start a file on you and I'll call your parents and I'll fuck up your life because you will be obedient to the white masses. You understand, black kids? You will be obedient to them, okay? That's what I said. That's what I say. Hey, did you know that George Washington, he murdered deserters? Yeah, I know everything. You don't have to ask me if I know something. I know everything, okay? Yeah, but he would actually hang them on these, like, huge platforms in front of everybody. Well, lots of military leaders did that. Like Che Guevara. Oh, there's an interesting figure in history. <laughs> well, did you know George Washington owned slaves? Well, you can't judge another time period by today's standards. Yeah, you can. No, you can't. I'm the one who dictates history around here. I tell you what's true and what's not true. And J.P. Morgan is a hero. Dale Carnegie is a hero. Well, uh, Rockefeller, he's a hero. Okay, these are not evil men. People want to say bankers are evil men. No, the rich, the rich are the good guys. The white people are the good people. Well, what about the 1855 Know Nothing Riots? Don't you dare talk about that! Don't you dare talk about the 1855 Know Nothing Riots in my class! You understand that? Don't you dare! I just want to make the point that, you know, we, uh, slavery is wrong, and we could say that slavery is wrong today because we see that slavery is wrong then. It was wrong then. I can judge their time period by today's standards. Slavery was wrong, and back in the day, when you'd see those pictures of lynching, the entire white community would be out there. So it was like 99-something percent, you know, basically overwhelming all white community. They would take a big picture, dressed in their Sunday's best, having no fear of getting in trouble for murdering a, a human being, for murdering a man, right? An innocent, like Jesus, basically, basically murdering a Jesus Christ. That was the entire white population that was doing that. Oh, you can't say that. I've, I'm white. I'm a white woman, and that's what's important to me. I think I have Norwegian roots, and I know who I am, but I get $55,000. JCPS pays me $55,000 to oppress and molest these fucking kids. Fuck these kids. I will manipulate these fucking kids until they're fucking dead. I'm the fucking master. I'm the HBIC. I'm the head bitch in charge. You will listen to me. Every one of y'all will listen to me. I am Julie Chancellor. Chancellor is my name. Of course I'm a Nazi fascist. Chancellor is my name. You should have just called me Julie Nazi. Or Julie fascist. Or Julie fucking controlling, manipulating fucking piece of shit. That's what you should call me. I do call you controlling Nazi fucking fascist pizza shit. Shut up! Shut up!
You don't tell me what to do. You don't say nothing. You mean call ISAP? I will call ISAP on you. I will call ISAP. I will call your fucking... I will call Spalding University. I am a white bitch, and we white bitches stick together. I will call your university. I will say a bunch of crazy shit, and I will fuck up your world. Your fucking university, they said that they will listen to me. I didn't go to their fucking co-teaching orientation. I don't know shit about co-teaching. I don't know shit about equality. I don't know shit about life. I just know how to take motherfuckers' freedom. That's what I want to do. I am Julie fucking Chancellor Nazi fascist piece of shit. That's who I am. In the education uh, field, I had to buy lots of textbooks. Right? I barely read this one. Uh, barely read this one. This is in Karen Stones. This is uh, Karen Dunnigan. They force you to buy these textbooks. They don't even do anything with them. I read a bunch with this. This was uh, with Mr. Uh, Wooldridge, um, who's a principal for, I think, um, Manual High School. And uh, this was with um, Amanda Wyrick. See, classroom assessment, that was with um, uh, Muniz, Mr. Muniz. Classroom management is with Barbara, Barbara Foster. Um, so, okay, so they, uh, just to let you know some of the ideas, right, so, uh, the teaching in America, I like some of these because of the origins, um, it talks about how the, uh, the old Satan Deruder Act, right, so education actually was established to make sure that, uh, Christian children were properly educated in the Christian faith, um, educational psychology has a lot of the, the, uh, nearer transmitters and the, uh, sin, uh, synapses and a lot of the, the studies with your brain work, classroom assessments just about the test, inclusion is about how you try to keep everybody, integrated content, literacy is how you get people to read all across curriculums, philosophy of education, I've read so many theorists of education, actually I, at the very end um, of the, one of my last class, actually my last full class, I will talk to the uh, so-called students who've been there for two and a half years, which knew supposedly knew everything, um, well, you know who their favorite theorists were, and that none of them really had any good answers. But the theorist that I like, my very favorite one is Emile uh, Jean Jacques Rousseau, and he wrote his book Emile in the 1700s. He had to go into exile. He had to go into exile because uh, the ideas of liberating the basically he thinks all human beings are born good, so you have to allow the kid to do whatever they want to do, so they'll know who they are, and and then you have to protect their their goodness. But he went into exile after that. There's also a Spanish free school, uh, Francisco Furier Furier. Um, it's a weird last name, but he was murdered. He was actually murdered for establishing a school. So. What you're doing, you're not just, you know, you're messing with me and the students. You're sitting there saying that we have to be your slave. You have to be my slave. You have to be my slave. But the law of KRS, uh, the law of Kentucky, it says that these uh, the cooperating teacher has to be, you know, a co-teacher. It's not hierarchical anymore. The uh, law says that it needs to be co-teaching. And you didn't co-teach. You didn't do any of the co-teaching things. You didn't go to the orientation. You didn't have a conversation. There was none of that. Um, basically, it just it just felt like you all were fucking me over. You all conspired to sabotage me. That's, that's what it feels like uh, to me. I will never co-teach with anybody. If you come in my room, you are my bitch. You're my bitch. And you will do as the fuck as I say. I'm a white woman. I'm a white woman. I rule over everything. You obey me or you will get your life fucked up. I defend assholeries. I show you that the asshole bullies fucking rule society. I'm an asshole fucking bully, and I don't understand why people are getting bullied because I'm the biggest fucking bully on the fucking playground. I'm the biggest fucking bully. Nobody can fuck with me. I'm Julie fucking Nazi fascist chancellor. 
I am the best fucking piece of shit on the fucking planet. My shit don't fucking stink. I am the greatest fucking human being to ever have ever walked to live and fucking all the earth. I don't care if it's fucking straight English or not. I'm allowed to do whatever the fuck I want to do. I can tell you false information. I can fucking treat you like an ass. I can fucking laugh in your fucking face. I can sit there and call you stupid. Make you feel fucking dumb. I can fucking treat you like shit. I get paid $55,000 dollars to make these black kids fucking listen to their white masses or else get thrown in prison.